Hello and welcome back to Case of Cut. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I did do some off-camera stuff, which I have now promptly forgotten because it's been a good week since I last played. Um, so we're going to be doing some some cleanup. Um, I don't think I'm going to be going to the Tomb of the Eaters just yet, although we definitely could. Um, I do have a new weapon. We've got ourselves a linear cannon, which uh, we're probably going to experiment with today. I think I'd like to... Ooh, yeah, let's take the nuclear cell out of that uh, blast cannon. And I think I want to disassemble that. Someone out there is going to hate me for that. Uh, but, eh. I'm sure, yeah, I mean, I know it was expensive. I know it was. Um, but, you know, we're in the land of milk and honey here, so... I'm not going to be too upset about it. Linear cannon, uh, what we want to do now is we want to put a high capacity nuclear cell in. Actually, let's put a nu uh, antimatter cell in there. Can we mod this at all? We can mod it with jacked. And we should. I would like to try this. I would like to play with this linear cannon. Um, we could do, we could put masterwork and scoped on it. How heavy is the thing? 20 pounds. Uh, making it lighter would be nice, but, uh, you know, generally with something like this, you don't want to hit it with the just make it lighter business. Um, making it scoped is always a nice idea. Let's make it scoped. And I think, honestly, masterwork would be good, too. I could give it overloaded, but eh. I, I have kind of mixed feelings about overloaded, so I'm just going to hit it with that their masterwork. I really probably should have, uh, what do you mean empty? What does this, uh, what, what? Empty? I, it's got the antimatter cell in it, but what does it, does it need ammo? Uh, interesting. What does it require? Reload. Lead slug. Well, now that's interesting. I was thinking this was going to be another one of those uh, weapons that was like a power hog, but if it uses lead slug as ammo, then it could very well be that... Oh, shoot. We should have given it drum loaded. It only has one shot. It's already fully loaded. Um, let's look at it for a moment. Baroque and kite-like volumes of metal are arranged on an axis as a, as a lathe to shave dimensionality off their inner spaces. I really don't know how this thing works, but we're gonna find out. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Bethesda Sousa. Let's go ahead and do our... Um, nope, that's not it. Shift R. We're gonna go to the Six Day Stilt. Because we're going to Bethesda, Bethesda Susa. And we're going to hand in a uh, Bethel quest today. We're going to make three defoliant grenade mark twos. Boop. Doop. 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 We have some more quests to accomplish. Um, like village quests. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about them. Ruins. There's a lot of, we have a lot of go and find this and go and find that quests, and uh, they all kind of suck. I won't lie. Hostel's nearby. Well, let's see, uh, let's see how, ooh, we have a becoming nook. How does our linear cannon uh, deal with this guy? Well, it certainly destroyed them with a 1D slug for 22 damage. Oh, I see a 1D slug. So it takes a slug and it kind of like stretches it. But it is like one shot. One shot equals uh what's the what's the accuracy? I know I scoped it. But what is its accuracy normally? High. Okay. Um 2D12. I I think it's pretty good. I would have liked to have given it drum loaded, but can't have it all. Wow, we have a becoming nook with no nothing becoming about it you know there's there's nothing uh there's nothing on it there's no goodies oh uh yeah hermits don't like us wow we did 44 damage to that hermit okay this thing this thing rocks holy crap holy crap 
Yeah, this thing is pretty good. I mean, I know we're shooting like very much nothing right now. Um, I don't know how much power it soaks. Let me see. Let's uh, let's take out the cell for a moment. That's a. It, this is a pretty major thing, right? Like how much power it it actually uses up is gonna matter. Um. You know, it occurs to me that I should mod a couple antimatter cells with jacked and then just hold them or like equip them for a bit and we could actually generate some electricity that way. Um, what do we hold in our hand? We held a shield and yeah, okay, so we do have our, you know, everything kind of equipped. Um, all right, so how much how much power does this thing use? Oh, yeah, we didn't learn our new things. Do we have tinkering three yet? Yeah, we do. No, we don't. We know, we see it, we have a time cube data disk. We will actually probably use that. Need Tinker 3 for Tri Hologram. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using the Tri Hologram. What do we have in our, on our wrist? Precinct Navigator. Okay, so let me just see. I'm going to fire off our, oh, there's, uh, conveniently, there's a pig there. Pop, and then how much power do we have? 18,000 charge. Oh, wait, did we miss? We still have 18,000 charge. So it looks like we can fire this thing off. Um, you know, at our discretion. We do not have to worry too much about uh, power. It does seem really nice. It, it does uh, like an absurd amount of damage. And it also seems to crit. I'm not too worried about how it's like its pen because its pen meets the AV of whatever it's shooting at, right? That's like the whole point of it. Um, so yeah, this thing might be amazing. It might be my new my new hotness. Just kind of, I'm just trying to testing it out, testing out the waters. All right, let's go to Bethesda Sousa, and we're going downstairs. Uh, we still don't have night vision goggles, so we can't make friends with their third troll. Sucks. We have our sparking beetle. So what's your deal? Five still beard glands. That's actually not um, totally impossible. We have another sparking beetle here. What's your deal? We have lurking Beths here still. Aha! Offer the sparking beetle your defoliant grenade mark two times three. Yes. I like that you can just do that now. You're... Villager, reputation of the villagers of Subabal increased by 800. You are loved by the villagers of Subabal. That really helps, actually. So let's go there right now and ask them to uh, have the slint as part of their village. I'm not even sure where uh, Subabal is. Where is Subabal? Um... Settlements. Shawar. Super Ball, where are you? Where are you, Super Ball? There you are. Four east and six south of the six day stilt. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. I'm lost. Lost in the canyons? No. Wow, that Snapjaw actually didn't instantly die to my linear cannon. Amazing. I'm just impressed, honestly. Don't hit, don't hit reload twice on while using the linear cannon because then it'll ask you to put a cell in it. I could just put a chem cell in it. Yeah, let's put this used chem cell in it and then that way it'll never ask me to do that. Okay, so not everything is a one hit kill, obviously. That was... Ooh, legendary idol. No, don't, don't get into a kerfuffle. No! 
Don't die, I need you. Hello, hello, friend. Loved by Naphtali and robots. Admired by bears. Hated by the villagers of Ezra. How's our villagers with the Ezra, with Ezra, um, reputation? How's that doing? It's fine. I, this'll suck, but... Robots are now indifferent! Yes! Oh, sorry, hold on. There. That's, that's better. Um, and also bear rip. That's a little hilarious. My, like, violently fluctuating reputation with bears in this series has been very good. It's been very, very funny. Um, why don't you share a secret with me? Goat folk village, huh? So they'll tell me about goat folk villages. Well, that's amazing. Um, I think... Well, obviously there's going to be, uh, you know... Oh, cool, antelopes still like me. Wait, is that a... That's a chromling. What's the chromling doing here? Is there another legendary? No. That's a that's a major milestone checklist checklisted off our, our list. I think we have a legendary tortoise here. This is yeah, there he there he is. What's what's your deal? We should uh, explore the rainbow wood. Loved by tortoises, hated by barathermites in the villagers guild and uh, the villagers of Sugarpad. What's her tortoise rep? Oh, it's it, it, is that really it? Is it actually negative eleven hundred? Okay. Did that kill that? Yeah, oh my god, I can one-shot kill tortoises with this thing. This thing is amazing. Well, okay, it's amazing against tortoises, but, you know, obviously there are other enemies, other fiercer enemies than tortoises. But uh, I'm feeling very optimistic about this. Yeah, we're at negative 1400. We're at 200 with villages of sugar pad. Barathermites at 1300. We could also ask the Barathermites to take the slint. Big deal. That's a big deal. So that's three. So we're officially at the point where we could hand in the slint quest. But we're not done yet. I want to have at least 10 under my belt. Oh, that's a fire snout. I thought that was just a regular slug snout. There are hostels nearby. I really disagree, but okay. Okay, so here's um, Suba Ball. Suba Ball, Suba Ball. Uh, where's our mayor for Suba Ball? Senator. Okay, they have a senator. Every, every village is a little different. I, in my travels, I encountered a people the slith seeking a new home. Is that so? I imagine you wish to know if Suba Ball will host the slint to make partake in roaming around idly alongside us. I am. You have done much for Suba Ball, Nimushram, and your request befits your stature. If these slint will join us in roaming around idly, and if they can come to cherish a law enforcement security card as we do, <laughs> then they are welcome here. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, that's that's a that's a big deal. If a mirror bug is a warden, honestly, they need to up their security and downgrade their rest of their village because their whole village are freaking krakens. Um, maybe we'll go have a take a visit real quick to um, the Barathermites and ask them. Actually, we don't have to walk over there. Hey, we, we're, we found a farm. I guess I have harvest turned off, which is fair because I don't need... I really don't need um, any more star apple jam. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I don't have it turned off. Where is the farm? -er? Where are you, farmer? Okay, we're gonna wait till daytime. Cause oh, there there you are. Hello, farmer. I'm no longer lost. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and recoil to. Great gate. Words are hard sometimes, you know? I think I'll have to ask either, is it either Otho or Barathrum to take the slint? 
I think I have to hand in my quest too, I don't know. In my travels I encountered a people, the Slints, seeking a new home. Be straightforward, disciple, you mean to ask if we will house them. I am. I'm uncertain that you know the enormity of what you ask me, Nimrushram. Nonetheless, I cannot deny that what you have done for our order. These slints must be attested as you were, but should they show the metal and drives? Oh man, Otho is going to send them to the go to Golgotha. Y'all are going to get the slints killed. Well, anyway, thank you. you finish the step, consult settlements of the quest landing pads. I'm not done yet, though. We're not handing that in. I want 10. I should be able to do 10. Let me have a look at some of my uh, reputation. Villagers of Ezra would be really good. I'm pretty sure I can uh, get away with Villagers of Ezra. Um, if we did like Consortium of Fida, that would be good because I'm pretty sure we can talk to uh, the Earl. I think? I don't know. It's a little bit weird sometimes. Denizens of Eid Freehold, that would be kind of nice. Um, Fellowship of Wardens, I don't think... I don't think that they have a... Like, they, they can't house, I don't think. Hinder Nabela would be possible, but I am not on good terms with Hinder Nabela. That wasn't my choice, I'm sorry. Oh, the Mechanimus, are they not a potential candidate? They may be. Let's go to Six Day Stilt. I have a funny feeling maybe uh, our Pope friend here would take them. No. That's interesting. How come they wouldn't take the slint? I guess they don't do that. They don't really have a home. This isn't really a home, it's a church. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. I wonder if the other Pope would, you know. I don't know, maybe, did, uh, sometimes it's funny, maybe this guy would do it. What's inside the tent? No. So, I don't know. Have I looked at that Russia floor? I think I have. Okay, so that's not a candidate. Shava Tree of Life might be. Children of Mammon might be, but that's really difficult. That's, that's like a thousand reputation I need there. Dogs. Ah, oh, Mechanimus. That should, it should, Mechanimus should have a, like, they should be a candidate. Pariahs I already did. I already handed it in for Pariahs, right? Pretty sure I did. About the Slinth, still gathering landing pads for your drifting vessel then? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, well, uh, so I did Pariahs. Um, not on good terms with Consortium of Fida. Villages of Amrod is up there. Suba Ball, I've already done. Look at all these village, amazing candidate villages. They just need a little bit of a nudge, you know? Uh, Uaza Zomas. They are very close. Very, very close. Dang. So I have quite a few villages here that are going to make good candidates. I don't think I can do the Daughters of Exile. Daughters of Exile. Oh, they're at 300. I mean, there's something there. But still, it, this is something that's going to, you know, potentially take me the, the, the whole playthrough. <laughs> it's a really difficult quest, and it's an even diff more difficult um, achievement. So, I mean, at this point, what do we want to do? I don't know if I want to do the Tomb of the Eaters just yet. I, I, I'm, I'm still, like, very kind of teetering on the edge. That's another... How, how are the Mopango? How's my reputation with the Mopango? Oh, kind of... Oh, that's Mollusk. Not, not bad. Not good enough, though. Um, hmm... I don't I, th I think I visited all of my like obvious historic sites I'm not quite zoomed all out all the way how come I can't see the bottom lane um we could check out a historic site in the 
deep jungle, but that kind of scares the heck out of me if I'm being honest. I don't know. Let's let's give it a go. I can always hit the bricks if things go really badly. Um like I have the means to decide if something is too spicy. I can I can basically just force field and then leave. Um so, you know, but I won't lie, the prospect is scary to me. Um, we're not on good terms with mollusks, but... That's right, they have an advanced, uh... Advanced confusion. Look at that! Oh my god, this thing is amazing! <laughs> Enigma snails are kind of really difficult to take out. But the fact that I'm, like, consistently doing such crazy damage to them... Oh my god. Oh, maybe I should just roam around in uh, the Palladium Reef. This is... Oh, you know what? I just realized what this thing is. You know what uh, the linear cannon is? It's basically an advanced sniper rifle. Which... Uh, officially makes it one of my favorite weapons of all time. I love y'all know I love me. A sniper rifle. Sniper rifle's gotta be one of my favorite. Oh god. No! Let's uh, let's see how you guys like this. Um, let's try a temporal fugue. You guys flashbanged me instantly. Well, they're flashbanging them. Oh, am I... Did I get EMP'd as well? No, I didn't. Like I said, Temporal Fugue is the uh, press everything button. <laughs> oh, I shot myself. Sorry, me. How much? Uh, I just want to know how much XP these guys are worth. 825? That's worth it. They do, uh, they do that. The tongue thing kind of sucks. But I'm just waiting for the force bubble to come back and then we're good. This will basically be like really easy free um, experience. Oh, I, I think I... The Kaleido Slugs are weird because they don't actually seem to care if you hit them. They're like weirdly extra docile. Badly wounded. Yeah, this is really good experience. So even though, even though the linear cannon has a chem cell in it, it still asks you if you want to change cells. Level 29. Very close to handing in the books in Russia floor. These guys, I don't think they have very good AV, but they do have a lot of health. Oh, that was, that was really nice, I gotta say. Regain our, your bearings. Um, not a huge fan of this zone. Let's just go back. Um, force bubble. There is uh, there is something there I would like to check out. So we are on good terms with that uh, tinker. What are they? I can I can turret tinker. Oh, that's really good. Let's um, temporal fugue. Ooh, I almost walked into a hole. The, uh, the Tongue Tyrant just, like, grabbed that Eigen Rifle. What is happening? 
Eigen, Eigen rifle inside the tongue tyrant. Um, that turret tinker is not not okay. They're gonna die probably. Ooh, what did that was that a solar cell times four? Not bad. I am going to um, since I'm on friendly terms with these turrets. The the best part about that is I get to walk right next to them before I swipe them. Let's go into our dueling stance and then swipe. Boop. Did it die? You swipe your blade. Was I supposed to? Yeah, I was supposed to do a swipe, right? Um, I guess I didn't do it properly. This is like free money. I was hoping for nuclear cells or antimatter cells, honestly. Let's, um, let me try that swipe again. Uh, you hit it. How come I'm not getting the weapon out of their hand? I'm in, I'm supposed to be in dueling stance, right? Ow. Yeah, I won't lie. This thing does hurt, but uh, it still doesn't hurt me enough, you know? There we go. There's the Eigen rifle. Free Eigen rifle. Well, this is fun, but not really what we wanted to, what we intended to do. Uh, I do intend to go to a historic site in the deep jungle. Shesh Palace. 1750 XP. Let's just have a quick look. Oh god, trending lamprey and memory eels instantly. And we've got a elder tart beard. I seem to be on good terms with the elder tart beard, so that's okay. But this is already not great. I won't I will say. I'm just going to get rid of this memory eel. Um, force bubble on. I think that Elder Tartbeard just died. 825 XP. Now, the problem with Trinning Lampreys... Trinning Lamp... I, I actually kind of think I want to beguile this thing. There's such a pain in the butt. Trinning Lampreys oh, suck so much. For real. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they're not actually part of... Ooh, we've got a purple gel. They're my friend, though. And that is that a dynamic turret tinker? It is. Just kind of hanging out. I've, I haven't spent very much time in the deep jungle, especially in classic mode. So this is a very novel experience. Thank you for placing that turret. What is that? High voltage arc winder turret. That's nice. Blast cannon turret. Oh my god. I won't lie. That's uh, that's a little spooky, my dude. In fact, I don't even think I want to tangle with y'all. With y'all. Okay, we got ogres. That ogre is not a fan of, of me. I don't want to be within melee range of the ogre. I, I am... My benefit is definitely run away, running away and shooting and blasting. Um, we're on good terms with that gel, so it's not part of the cult. Neither is the ogre ape, by the way. They just, they're just mean. Ogre elves, uh, ogre apes do tend to be kind of mean. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oof, oof, stunned. Yeah, if I got surrounded by ogre apes, um, that would be life-threatening. 750 XP for killing one, though. Oop. Let's just, uh, Temporal Fugue for a moment. I'm just gonna wait over here, let them do their thing. Why are they not doing anything? Sometimes Temporal, uh, Temporal Fugues are... Not very helpful. <laughs> okay, um, y'all really did like, you did me dirty here. 
this that you flashbanged me and then you did nothing and now you've trapped me into a labyrinth of force fields um it has overall not been a great bargain those look like crystal arrows okay what is that that is a conservator and member of the second Mithrimidian people and they are hostile and this is a blast cannon tinker and member of the set okay so they are hostile as well we need to take care of that guy immediately because as much as i'm not a huge fan of blast cannons myself um i have to imagine uh okay that, that was a lot of damage i just took oh no we're stunned okay if we can get stunned then then we're in danger I haven't fought too many of these. I should just do a clairvoyance for the time being. What do we got? We've got a few things. Oh, we got an ogre on our left. That uh, clairvoyance is uh, was a good idea in general. What did they shoot? Fat photon, huh? I'm not a huge fan of this right now. Uh, wish- oh, I do have my force field. I just want to take care of one of you. Come on, there we go. Okay, that's- that's one of them dealt with. Uh, I should try and poison the ogre ape. I suppose I could just shoot it for the time being. Oh, there we go. Now it's good. Um, let's go defensive stance and then lunge. There we go. They're poisoned. Pretty sure. Yeah, they are. Perfect. Let's do a rest for the time being. This is... um. Stop resting because you see something shooting at you. Oh. Nimbus beam, huh? This is a trash abbot. They are pretty tough, but I I am confident I can deal with them. Especially with my my point defense drone is really doing work here. Let's just melee them. We do some nice damage with our melee as well. Crystal Warhammer. That's worth taking. It's it's it weighs quite a bit, but you know it's still worth it. Um, so far, this is an interesting historic site. Definitely very spicy, but um, nothing beyond my means just yet. If I ever get surrounded by ogre or apes, that's potentially a death sentence. What was that? Laser column. I just refracted a beam for the first time ever. Uh, we are fighting something I can't see, and it does a lot of damage. So, but it does have a weapon. I'm going to go ahead and swipe it. Wet Crypt Sitter. Oh, it's a Crypt Sitter. I don't think I was able to disarm it. I'm going to back away for the time being. Crypt Sitter, that's a... Uh, this will be a test to see how ready I am for the uh, Tomb of the Eaters. I don't want to use my force field just yet. I would like, I would prefer to, um... Oh, okay, so that thing is a potential, like, we should just go. Hostile, yeah. Leering Stalker, that's a, that's a good buy. We have a, yeah. Th this place isn't great. Um, I'm, I might come back here if I'm feeling, like, truly overpowered. But I, I don't, I don't think I want to come back there. That... Leering Stalker is a big no. That is like one one step below Chrome Pyramid. Chrome Pyramid is like at the absolute top. Like, I'm not doing it. I will never do it uh, unless I, I, I really truly feel ready for it. Um, but it, like Leering Stalker is right under that of like, I don't want to. You can't make me. Please don't make me. Okay, we have two of these uh these lads and that's fine they are they do uh you know some unavoidable damage 
But outside of that, this is already a bit more doable. But I might have to end the episode here. We got Rest Chef keeping us company. Um, I did see uh, Dervish. I think it was actually a high tier Dervish as well. So that's uh, potentially not a good thing. Remember, there was that one ruin that had some um, legendary Dervish. But I don't think that they were part of any cult. They were just there. But either way, uh, I've already tangled with some Dervish in this playthrough. All right, let's leave it there and uh, we'll continue. If I if I manage to make something out of this historic site, that'd be kind of fun. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.